Hello everyone. Uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at Acumatica's latest version, the 2020 release one. Uh, today's tutorial, we will see item matrix feature, uh, which is part of this new build. Uh, so in order to get started with item matrix, first thing that you need to do is enable and disable features and go ahead and look at the advanced inventory section and you should see the inventory matrix as the matrix items checkbox. Make sure that's checked and enabled. So now you have the item matrix feature in 2020 R1. So once that's enabled, you could go back to your inventory. You will see create matrix items and template items. So even before we create them, we need to do a little bit of configuration, right? So let's go ahead and create new attributes. The item matrix works on the concept of attributes. So make sure to create the attributes ahead of time. Um, for instance, if you're creating uh, shoes, uh, then you can have shoe size. Uh, if it is uh, t-shirts, then you can have t-shirt sizes. Uh, so there may be different attribute values uh, for your business. Make sure you create them uh, to, guess, to get an example. Uh, let's take a look at a couple of my customers, Kevin's Worldwide and Shubaka. Both of them are using Print Shop. So uh, if you're looking at a product such as t-shirt or an apparel, uh, obviously they do have different sizes, small, medium, large, XL, double XL, right? And then they can also have different colors. So these two could be an attribute. Uh, you could also have the material as a third attribute. Uh, if it is something that's gonna be only one option, which is cotton jersey, then you can ignore that. Um, but if, if it does have multiple materials, uh, then <clears throat> you might wanna create the third attribute. Let's take an example of a shoe here. Uh, this is a good example of uh, three attributes. We have colors, which is black and green, black, uh, and then also the size, different men's size, and then the shoe width, which is the third um, attribute here. So. Today we're going to take a look at the um, uh, creating a t-shirt uh, an apparel here. So I'm going to choose this, um, which is going to be our template ID, which is nothing but a matrix group. So let me just go back here. Um, I do have uh, different shirt sizes, and then also I have different colors uh, that I've already keyed in here. So you notice that I have the t-shirts colors, and then they also have shoe colors differently. Right. So once we have the attributes set up, the next thing to do is go into inventory item and item classes. Create a new item class called clothing um, or it could be um, shoes. So in this case, we're going to stick to the clothing and apparel. So I come down to the attribute section and I'm going to choose the two attributes that I'm going to be using here, the color and the size. So once I have the item class set up, now it's time for us to go ahead and create a new template. Uh, also notice the new plus sign here, which is also a new feature uh, in 2020 R1. Makes life easier. So I click on new template. Uh, again, template is nothing but a matrix group. Um, it's not an inventory item, but it's just a template to create one. So I'm gonna go ahead and key in my template ID and the description is, I'm gonna copy it from this website. All right, and I'm gonna choose the item class, in this case, clothing. It'll auto-populate um, all the you know, definitions. If, if not, you may have to set that up in an item class. I'm gonna quickly do that here. And I may wanna hit save, but I cannot save this template unless I do the attribute configuration. So I would come in here and I can see that there's two different attributes of type variant. And this is a new category type. Uh, that's in 2020 R1. And I'm going to choose the default column as color and the default row as size. And then you can you can you can decide to choose the other way too. Uh, not a problem. Um, then we're going to create <coughs> segment settings for inventory ID and the description. This is nothing but the SKU ID, what your inventory ID was going to be, and what the description would be. So it will auto generate them. So I'm going to choose template ID. Obviously, I want to make sure it has AP 5000. Um, so I'm going to choose that, um, put a separator as dash, and I'm going to choose attribute value. I'm going to choose my first attribute color. Uh, so 
it could choose a size and I'll show you how that works and I'm going to choose attribute value again and I'm going to choose color so your inventory ID when you generate it is going to be AP 5000 dash if it choose black as the size uh, as the uh, size would be small then S dash color which could be black so your inventory ID will look like AP 5000 dash S dash black right similarly we're going to do um, and set up the uh, description so in this case I'm going to choose template ID again and I'm going to choose template description and then also add the attribute values which is size and color all right so I'm going to go ahead and hit save now so once I've done that now it's time to go and create a, the matrix items itself so I'm gonna go and click on create matrix items and now it let me choose the template ID which I just created AP 5000 uh, so notice how it it populates the columns on the rows uh, I can switch this and make it size versus columns or the size versus color um, I'll switch back to color slash size um, you could select over here it will select pretty much everything that means I'm gonna be generating matrix items of all these different um, sizes and different colors um, if you are sure that you're only gonna be doing per uh, size then you can select on the row uh, it will select all the colors uh, so let's say um, you know in small it's only available in blue and color black medium everything is available large uh, pretty much blue and red and extra large everything so you can choose different combinations of what's available based on the vendors website right you can define that um, and once you have that uh, you can go ahead and hit create matrix items so it's going to create these combination of products um, in Acumatica so notice that it generated all the inventory IDs based on the segment and the description also which is the product name um, and then the, the size and then the color um, so if I did hit confirmation here, what it's going to do is going to create the inventory items, the SKUs in Acumatica. You might occasionally get an error if your segment ID, uh, the segment, segment keys is only 10 or 15 characters. Make sure to uh, increase your segment keys to 25 or 35 characters. So if I hit confirmation, at this point um, Acumatica is creating the finished goods or the SKUs uh, in, in the system. So if I go down to uh, stock items, I should be able to see AP5000 series. So let's, let's go here. If you notice here, AP5000, I have uh, around probably 20 SKUs created. So I can also just filter quickly. There you go. So we have 16 records or 16 individual um, item codes created in the system. Um, so one, one cool thing that you can do also is um, I would like to add some description uh, so I can go back to my template items and choose AP 5000 obviously I forgot to fill in you know the cost the price so I'm gonna go back here and see what the price is six dollars so let's say that's for quantity break so I'm gonna just give five dollars or maybe seven dollars fifty cents right and um, I can also choose the vendor uh, in this case the default vendor is go to vendor um, I can also come to description um, and copy the description I can also copy the image there you go hit save um, the really cool thing is it also shows you the matrix items uh, different color and sizes uh, we don't have the default warehouse so you can also set that up if needed right so I come back here um, default warehouse I'm gonna say it's retail all right there you go uh, and then if you need to set up any GL description is good so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply to matrix items so all of these child elements are you know the children will get um, the descriptions and any information that we set up at the matrix group level or the template level so I'm going to apply it to matrix items as it's doing that update let's go back to stock items 
and let's filter on AP5000 and pick up a specific product here. All right, so there you go. This is the new inventory item uh, that it generated. Uh, notice the template ID, this is something new. This indicates that this is an item matrix because uh, it has a template. Um, so if you go down to the price, it's updated the price, it has updated the warehouse details, the vendor details, it's got the attributes here. Uh, also, if you come down to the description section, you will see the same product image and description copied over. How cool is that? Great, so now that we are done, uh, created all the matrix item, obviously we don't have them in stock, right? So the next thing to do is uh, go into purchase order. Um, and I wanna show you how you can choose different sizes and colors and be able to procure them from your vendor. So I'm gonna create a new purchase order and uh, there's a new button that's been added in the, um, so I'm gonna choose my go to vendor here. And if you notice here, they used to have add item. Now we have add matrix item. So I can click on add matrix item and be able to choose the template. In this case, uh, AP5000 and automatically it populates the column, column attributes and the row attributes. Um, again, if you click on this checkbox, display availability details, you will see um, the quantity available. In this case, obviously, we are yet to order this. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my retail warehouse. That's where I want all this stock to come in. So what it's showing me here is how many what you wanna order, right? So I'm gonna say uh, 10 of these. And I can specify 10 of these. Um, I'll probably, let's say 10 of these, the cool ones, and 10 of that. All right, so I have keyed in all the quantities that I need to uh, purchase from this vendor, uh, and I can add and close. So notice how it adds all the matrix items to your purchase order, and you're ready to take it off hold, and um, let's go do that. Let's save. I've gone ahead and uh, uh, creating purchase received. So I'm one step cl close to creating a purchase release document here. So I'm gonna hit release and I am going to be updating the inventory. So we're bringing that in stock. So once we have this inventory in stock, let's go ahead and create a sales order. And I wanna show you how easy it is now to uh, create sales orders for matrix items. Uh, so let's say a customer calls in and they want to buy a specific quantities of t-shirts uh, with, diff with different sizes and colors. So I come in over here, choose a customer. Please, and if you notice here, we have the add matrix item button. So I can choose that and now be able to select the AP5000 um, and then be able to say what I'm gonna click on display availability details. So as I mouse over it and click on this option blue, extra small, uh, obviously we don't have that in stock. Uh, how about black? Um, so we do have available for shipping 10. So I'm going to say yes, I'm gonna order five of those. Um, and this is also available is five. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna order two of these, two of these. All right, so I have filled in my quantity that the customer wanna buy, and I can just um, choose the warehouse retail, and notice how it wipes out um, all your selections, so make sure to, to fill in that ahead of time before you key in the quantity. All right, so I re-keyed in my quantities, and I'm gonna hit add and close, and it's gonna populate all my SKUs, individual SKUs, with the size and the colors into the sales order. I'm gonna hit save. And obviously I can do the really cool feature, the quick process to be able to ship and uh, invoice. I'm gonna do the release invoice too. <clears throat> all right, so we have all the shipments um, and the invoice document created and released. So we pretty much sold this um, 
inventory. So let's go take a look at the matrix inventory summary. Uh, this is a new screen, uh, so you can choose all the different options here and you can see the plant type is available. Uh, you can see quickly um, which color and which size for this particular product is available in, in stock. Uh, so you could use this or you can write your own generic inquiry, uh, which we have done here uh, to be able to, uh, let me just reload the page. <clears throat> so you can write your own generic inquiry to see what's available and what's not. Um, and you can also obviously color code it, right? So you can choose AP5000. You get to see anything that's inventory item less than six quantities or five quantities, uh, kind of indicate as red. So we know it's going down in stock uh, that we need to procure. Uh, you can also do a quick pivot table here just to see how many quantities is left. Now, uh, if you have different warehouses, then you can see across different warehouses where your products are and, and how much quantity is left. So. That's all we have today for uh, Acumatica 2020 R1, the item matrix feature. Um, you know, go have fun with it. Thanks.